Get ready for the Squawking Eagles podcast. Blue game loading live from Chambers 19 in Doylestown. Eagles making a drive. Oh, look, we start with an option. Yay. The offense learned so much. Forgot to end that last one with fly, Eagles fly. Let's go, birds. Ooh, Mylotta misses a major block, and we finally run the ball, and it goes nowhere because the O-line that's good at run blocking didn't run block. Just the start of the game. Let's go, Birds. A quick and decisive pass to our great tight end. That's what I want to see. It was almost a little too late, to be honest, but you know what? We're good. Let's go, Birds. That pass to Devontae Smith, that's one way to get him killed, and A.J. Brown doesn't want to block for him. Both screen passes so far have been absolutely terrible throws by Hertz. A lob on a screen and then leading way too high and way too late. If you're going to do it, you got to zip it. You can't be like lobbing it like that. If he can't throw the ball, then don't throw the plays. He clearly is like, what is going on here? You're getting people hurt. Make better decisions. Call better plays. Come on. Of course. Over the 50, let's give it to Gainwell. Again, where's Swift? Put Swift out there. Gainwell is still out there. I don't even care which running back is running the ball. A running back is running the ball. I love it. We had great quick passes, and we're running the ball. Let's go, Birds. And then we run the old college option play with a tight end. Sometimes, I, I swear, my Eagles, they give me hope, and then they smack me in the face with their decision-making. I don't get it. Touchdown, Jalen Hurts. That's a drive we needed right there. A lot of gain well, though. A lot of gain well. But first possession, first touchdown. And you know what? We ran the ball with our running backs. And granted, we had to end up going to the pass slash scramble game for the touchdown. But that's the kind of run I like to see out of Hurts. A scramble. When you set the pass up and the plays aren't there, then you let him do his thing. The design runs fall apart. This play is set up, even though it looks like it might have been kind of a design run because of the way that uh, Kelsey pulled. But either way, we ran the ball, we threw the ball, we ran the ball. Nice, even distribution. It's going to come back because he's down. Uh, Actually, he's not. no, he's not contacted. It's okay. He's, not, he's still a touchdown. He was never contacted. Either way, let's go, Burks. Fly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with everything that has gone on this week in the news of the Eagles, the Eagles open the drive with the ball. And in a very critical drive, opening drive, drive down the field, and Jalen Hurts runs the ball in for a touchdown. But the most important part is that we see a lot of carries from Gainwell, which I feel like uh, the culture staff has either lost faith in Swift or when Swift is in the game, it's a little bit telling. I'm not sure what the... Um, with the changes there, but Gainwell did his thing, helped us get down the field, and we have a touchdown. The Eagles are currently up 7 nothing. Seeing Drew Locke walk out there is, is, a, is a good thing, I think. The Eagles defense needed somebody who isn't a, as mobile as Geno Smith. Let's see what Matt Patricia calls up. You know, listening back to some of the guys' uh, voice notes here, you know, I think I've noticed a couple of things that, you know, we have some motion in our offense, which that's been one of the uh, main things brought up uh, in the press conferences of the lack of motion. So we see some motion, so we see that the Eagles may have learned something this week. Uh, we know that they've learned to run the ball. And currently the defense is standing up and holding uh, the Seahawks to a third down here. Let's see. Let's see how they hold up on this third down. Defense look good. Three and out. No big plays. Let's see what the offense can do now. Go up 14 here. Let's go, Bird. 
All right, so I uh, didn't have any reviews during the defense because I was just talking to other people. Um, good job defensively. Stopped them nice three and out. We get the ball back. First thing we do is run the ball. Let's keep it up, boys. I like this. We're going to make these plays. We're going to go in here, get this game going, prove to them, hey, we're the Eagles. Even with a sick Hurts, we're coming in to win this game. Let's go, birds. I'm going to throw the comment out here just because it happened and I have to. The last throw, we're, I'm looking at it's 3 minutes 47 on the first. Hurts just overthrew DeAndre Swift, but you know what? He dropped back in the pocket. He saw the play he wanted, and rather than try to sneak out or sense the pressure that's not there, he stepped up, and he threw the ball. A little bit of an overthrow, it's fine. You're going to overthrow running backs more often. They don't normally have the same you know, feel for those kind of throws that the receivers do. But he stepped up in the pocket, did what he had to do to make the play the way he did, and I'm, I'm excited to see it. Let's go, Birds. You know, a five-yard pass that Goddard tipped. If that guy wasn't looking to make a tackle, that could have very well been an interception. They're lucky. And a good punt by Brad Mann. Well, it was kind of a, you know, rough series of events there with the uh, the way the plays worked out with that false start. But, hey, you know what? They, they always have had decent defense. It's rainy. We're going to have, you know, some rough times as well. But as long as we can step it up defensively, get the ball back, We'll be good. Let's go, Birds. We're up on the Eagles' second possession. They go three and out after a uh, false start by Jalen, who I guess was anticipating the snap and uh, didn't get it. The Eagles go three and out. Um, got away from the running game again. Got a, uh, one run in there and three passes in a row. Um... So let's see how the defense holds up now that they are quickly back out in the field. A better throw, and Byard is taking that to the house. Fourth down, Eagles ball. Let's score here. Come on. All right, defensively, great little stop there. Sweat with that beautiful play. Bring it down to that third and one. We got a little false start help from Noah Fant, and then uh, they can't quite make the third and six pass. Let's go, Birds. Stop again defensively. Get the ball back here offensively. Let's go. All right, end of the first quarter. Eagles are up. If we can get back to, you know, keep going with the running the ball, you know, quick passes, not the, the lobby screen passes. Please don't do the lobbying screen passes ever again. Quick slants, ins, outs, you know, little jerks here and there. Make it happen, boys. I love to see the way the team's being played. Let's work on it. Let's keep going. And let's uh, let's make sure we uh, keep putting it in on that 12th man field, as they call it. I definitely heard an Eagles chant there. Keep your ears open, boys. We hear that flag with fly chant all the way out in the 12th man. Let's go. Illegal batting of the ball forward. I haven't heard that before. Now they get the re-punt. It's a better punt this time. And we get to return it. So, win, win. 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 After the atrocious call that was a screenplay, a beautiful quick slant to our lovely AJ Brown. Hope he's just fine. Maybe a little banged up on the knee. And then, of course, the beautiful brotherly shove gets us that first down. I'll never get tired of it. Flag will fly. Well, the defense comes up big and with a penalty filled. Second possession for Seattle. It was kind of confusing, but something up with a punt and batted forward ball, and I've never heard of it before, so we're just going to leave it at that. Eagles are attempting their brother to shove right now. And guess what? First down. The first brotherly shove of the game is successful. So let's get rid of this whole 0 and 7 against Seattle. Please. So far, we're looking good. I still see a lot of uh, motion in the offense. Swift has been running the ball. We kind of look like we put some pieces together right this second. I mean, I Why run quarterback draw there? The guy is sick. He doesn't want to be playing out there. You know he's, he doesn't want to be running up and down the field like that. Don't call those plays. Swift is being... A monster at running the ball. Keep running swift. Look, I love what we've been doing with these runs and these moves, but these quarterback design runs that literally are, are you're, you're risking the whole team. 
We have Hertz come in sick, already not feeling good, and you're going to have him do these runs, risking his legs, risking his body that doesn't need to be done. Come on, guys. I get the, the probably shove runs, scrambles here or there, but these runs are what get people hurt. Julio finally gets his number called. Wide open. Wide open. I didn't see where Jason Kelsey moved at all. And now they're just going to kick a field goal instead of going up 14 nothing here. We're weak. That's weak. All right. Well, it was a, a drive. Uh, that false start, I'd, I'd like to actually see the false start. They showed the replay, and even the commentators were really confused because, like, we were lining up. Like, our guys were just lining up. I'm, I'm, I get it. I see false starts all the time on the Eagles. I call it all the time on my own. I've seen, but I don't know how that one was called. Third and six, Roma Swift. Look, we tried. Uh, I'm glad to see we're running the ball. I mean, we're going to get three out of here because, you know, we got Jake Elliott, but, you know, I'm just glad we're running the ball. That's all that matters. Keep running the ball. Win this game. Let's go, Birds. Well, the Eagles get into the red zone, and as consistently as they've done all season, they stall out, and we'll have to settle for a field goal. Not for not lack of effort, they did bring in Julio Jones, who had a big catch, who converted, helped convert another third down. They seem to be adding, uh, you know, multiple look um, receivers out there, not the same AJ, Devontae, and Goddard out there. So that's a good sign. I don't know about this bullshit call about the false start on Kelsey, but it's all good. Yeah, no, no, it's, um, I don't get it. Like, don't get me wrong. Again, I've seen it. I said earlier this game we were watching play. I said I think the Eagles might have a false start. But right there, um, he was just getting set. Like, I don't know, honestly, anyone, anyone's watching that's a fan of a different team. I mean, even the Seahawks and the defenders kind of looked at it like, what flag? Like, nobody saw a false start there. I don't get it. Whatever. Either way, 10 nothing. Let's go, Birds. Well, well, how about this, ladies and gentlemen? Nolan Smith has entered the chat for multiple possessions. This is great. I love it. Finally, let's get him going. All right, third down and 10. Can they stop him here with 217 left and get the ball back and score? Let's go. I'm going to make it comment here and hope the rest of the game doesn't hurt me for it. But Keely Ringo coming up like that to make a tackle on a running back. My love. When a corner comes downhill to play the ball, it's like having another safety out there. If he can lock down a receiver on top of it, I'm going to love him for a long time. Let's go, Birds. Well, defense has come to play tonight for sure. They look like they have a nice little healthy rotation along that defensive line. Kelly Ringo or Sidney Brown kind of Ringo and Sidney Brown kind of playing a little with a little chip on their shoulder tonight, which I like, which I like. Let's get in the head. I do. I'll take a field goal there. Now I just need the Eagles to go down and score a touchdown. 17-3 going into half. I'll take that. That's that's what that's that's a game winner right there. Hey, you know what? We gave up three. Not the, you know, obviously it's it's not a three and out. It's not a stop, but you know what? We didn't let up a touchdown. We're still playing well defensively. I think right now I'm I'm tentatively very happy with what I'm seeing out of Keely Ringo. A couple plays here or there. And they got down the field. It's okay. We got this. We're going to step it up. Maybe we can score this next minute 40. Second half is going to come out. We're going to be strong. I believe in it. Let's go, Birds. Well, the Eagles defense stops the Seattle uh, offense in the red zone. Um, Drew Luck seemingly getting a lot of confidence in that pocket there. Feeling a little comfortable. Eagles need to put him in check. We need to get a hit on him. And hopefully the Eagles take this ball, drive down, and score before half. So we can have at least a three-point or a three-score uh, lead. Can't let this uh, Drew Lock get too comfortable. I, I, I do like this how, how this kid plays. Love his heart. 
Uh, I know his record doesn't speak highly of him, but he is a good player. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get it twisted. The kids got skills. Look, I understand that we were trying to make down the field quickly at the end, but again, when we get away from the run game, this is what happens. I understand we don't have timeouts, but you have to utilize the run. We had over a minute. You have to use the run. Our offensive coordinator needs to stop with the crayons and understand this. It worked well the first quarter because you ran the ball. You need to run the ball. If you're too stupid to understand that, then you don't belong in the NFL. You need to run the ball. Well, with the opportunity to drive down the field, the Eagles waste all of 10 seconds off the clock. Go three and out. And now Seattle has the opportunity to tie the game before halftime. Way to go, offensive coordinator. Good job calling that series. Halftime 10-3. Kind of wish that it would be 14-3, but let's see what that second half is these two. And we have reached halftime with the Eagles up 10 to 3. <clears throat> what have we learned so far? Let's see. We learned that some adjustments were made, but we continue to get away from the running game and try to use the option plays or the the RPO as a way of opening the run game. I, I'm not sure what's going on, but we still are playing like doo doo. Um, we should have 17 on the board right now, not 10. But that's neither here nor deal there. Let's see what type of adjustments they make at halftime. All right, first half's over. I take a moment to get myself together. Um, look, we started off the game well. Some good runs. Swift got the call ball a few times. Game well got the ball a few times. Hurts ran the ball a few times. More than I would like, but hey, I'll take what I can get. I'd like to see the ball in Gainwell's and Swift's hands a little more often again in the second half. We got away from it towards the end of the third or end of the uh, end of the first half, the end of the, the second quarter. I understand that it was like time sensitive, trying to drive down the field, but that first possession we had in under two minutes. We could have run the ball a little bit, even without the timeouts. We could have. They, they were so far back protecting our passing that we would have easily pushed down the field a little bit on some good quick runs. As it is, we're winning. They're going to get the ball. Our defense is going to stand tall. And we have to run the ball, grind the clock, win the game. Let's go, birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. That was a terrible series for the Eagles defense. Nobody wants to tackle. Let them just run into the end zone. Now it's a tie game. Unreal. Well, the Eagles defense allow Seattle to run the ball. Run the ball down the field. Nine plays, 75 yards. In for the touchdown. We now have a tie game. This is the drive that's going to dictate the game. If the Eagles can drive down and score a touchdown, then this is what will win the game for them. For the love of all things holy, all things green, all things Eagles, can we stop with the screens? Our screenplay presented tonight has to be negative. It's been so bad. Stop with the screens. Every team knows we call more screens than anyone else. Stop. Screens. Stop. Crayon Muncher, stop. I'm, I'm going to shove crayons up your ass. Stop it. Push, push into the end zone. Yeah. Touchdown, Eagles. I would like to go back through every Eagles game and get clippings of film of every time that DeAndre Swift or any other running backs end up with the ball at like the two or one yard line after a play. Because <laughs> you can tell every time they kind of look up like, 
Well, there goes my opportunity because you know it's going to be Hurts. But let's go, Eagles. Another touchdown. Fly, Eagles, fly. Run the ball. Hey, when you ran the ball, the play action worked. It's amazing. Run the ball. Keep crushing them. Defense, step it up. We got this. Let's go, Birds. <laughs> that was a good response. Eagles going up 17 10. Now, the defense is turned to shut down Seattle's offense right now. You almost wonder if uh, Hertz gives a little tip to his own lineman if they purposely stop the running back from scoring there just so he can get that extra touchdown. <laughs> no, but for real, I know the birds, just none of them, you know, no one cares who scores as long as they win the game. I know they're a team first mentality. Gotta love it. Let's go, Birds. Keep this going. I don't care if it's not a great win. We don't need to win by big numbers. Just run the ball. Prove that we can be that kind of team because that's what's going to get through the playoffs. Let's go, Birds. Well, the Eagles drive down the field, running the ball on the back of Swift, and then the tush push into the end zone. Or the touchdown, Eagles up 17 to 10. But the screen plays on this drive have to stop. They are getting way too much, too consistent, and too predictable. Somebody's going to end up getting hurt, and um, that's going to hurt us in the long run. I wish we would get away. Can we get back to having the quarterback under center again? For a little while, maybe just something, something new. That's what the Eagles needed: a, a, a Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox. Uh, what is that? What is that? What'd you say? Fourth down. Now that is our defense, boys. Nolan Smith shocks their running back, and then of course BG and Cox coming in. Ending that third down, let's go, Birds. Lane Johnson down. This is not good. He doesn't look like he's doing well at all. Oh, boy. Here we go. Brandon Graham gets a sack and ends Seattle's attempt down the field. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Lane Johnson's ankle just got rolled up on, and he is thriving in pain on the field. We'll be right back after these commercial break. Well, good news is Lane Johnson did get up off the field, walked off. Seems like he's going to sit out the one play as the Eagles fall start. Oh, boy. Here we go. Lane Johnson is coming back on the field. Thank the Lord that Lane Johnson is like the Terminator. You can put a hole in him, but he going to come right back at you. Jesus, Lord. Lane Johnson, the Terminator. Let's go. Literally. Devontae Smith is wide open, and he throws A.J. Brown. What is he looking for? Well, the Eagles are forced to punt. Oh, it looks like Jordan Mailata just took a shot to the nuts. Oh, yeah, just got kicked in the nuts. But um, Jalen does not seem to be on the same page as uh, uh, A.J. Brown here as far as going deep. Um, they've missed on a couple of connections tonight. It seems... Jalen's either overthrowing him or throwing too short to him. I don't know. Something to keep an eye on, though. Well, not the drive we wanted. Uh, sadly, the run play almost hurt, almost cost us Johnson. Uh, but, you know, he's back. He'll be fine. Uh, a little bit of a mystery there. Uh, Smith's wide open on the play. Easy first down, plus 10, 15 yards. I, you know, it's sometimes, you know, as much as I like the way Hurts been playing a little bit better this game, it's those kind of decisions, those misreads, that they still bother me. I mean, that was a, an obvious play, and he kind of stared down Brown the whole time. But, hey, we're still moving. Defense, come back out, get another stop. Let's get the ball back. Let's go, Birds. Man, the way that <clears throat> Seattle's been running right up the middle on us is wild. 
10 rushes over 100 yards. Walker's having a good night tonight. That's not good, guys. We're supposed to have one of the best run-stopping defensive lines in the league. They've been MIA the last four weeks. Do I need to rattle off the names of the running backs that just ran through us? Not Kenneth Walker? It's ridiculous. Going to the fourth quarter, the Eagles need to make a stop here and get the ball back. They cannot let up any points. And um, when is Nolan Smith coming back? It looks like he's got a hurt shoulder or something. That tackle by Morrow was the most impressive tackle I've ever seen him make. I am honestly shocked. Fly, Eagles, fly. Our defense has been kind of lacking in the tackling particularly the linebackers. That was actually impressive. Let's go, Birds. we got to stop them. Bradbury special right there. Hooked. Hooked Metcalf. First down, Seahawks. There it is. Fourth and two. Seattle's going for it. Here we go. Ball start or timeout. Pete Carroll's pissed. Pete Carroll wearing his toddler hat. Oh, he's down. That's a sack. That's a sack. Jalen Carter on the sack. Let's go, bird. I'll take three points there with a Jalen Carter sack. Pete Carroll with his toddler hat. Not happy. He's not happy. Eagles up 17-13. Let's go, Birds. Man, the uh, Eagles' defense holds Seattle eventually to a field goal after a wild chain of events of if Drew Locke's knee was down before he threw the ball, which was only... Um, Sirianni was only able to challenge it because Seattle stupidly called a timeout to review it and forced him from a fourth and two to go to a fourth and a fourth and eight, and they had to kick a field goal. What a wild night as far as uh, play calling by the referees! But seventeen, thirteen Eagles, little under. 10 minutes left in the game. Why throw it to Quez Watkins? Why? Why, when we're up by four, are we doing nothing but throwing the ball? Eight minutes left. We could have run the ball, th quick passes, killed at least five, six minutes, probably scored a touchdown. But we're just throwing it up. We're just throwing it up and throwing picks. Why? 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 Well, the Eagles try to take a shot deep. Not to A.J. Brown. Not to Devontae Smith. But I think it was Quez Watkins. And it is intercepted in the end zone. So here we go. Seattle with the ball, about six minutes left, eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's see, things have gotten interesting. After the absolute moronic play of the deep throw while you're winning and only a few minutes left in the game that you could just be grinding it out with runs and short, accurate, high reception passes, our defense steps it up. Shuts them down. We're getting the ball back. Now, hopefully, our offensive coordinator got punched in the mouth between, you know, sessions here and was told he's not allowed to ever touch football book again. But I'm sure it won't happen. And hopefully, we'll run the ball a little more and win this game and stop trying to throw deep balls when we're winning when we could be trying to end the game. Let's go, Birds. The Eagles have to put the game away now with six minutes, six and a half minutes left. They got to drive down and score and put this game away right now. Swift staying in bounds with four minutes left. This is the game. They are driving down to end this game. How can Jalen run around 
in the backfield and not like get a get a get some sort of play. No one gets open. Jason Jason Kelsey is just shaking his head. He doesn't even know why. We weren't running the ball, and then I understand third and seven is not normally a run, but you saw them just blitz, like not blitz, so to speak, but everyone rushed the outside. They left the middle wide open. We could have easily run the ball right up the middle for a first down. It was just made for it. But we didn't, didn't we had to go for a throw because we have to throw the ball because we just love to throw the ball instead of running the ball. I know that the second down play didn't go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you have to stop r running the ball. Let's shut them down, defense. Go, Birds. Oh, the Eagles stall out. Jalen does everything he can in the fourth and seven, scrambling from sideline to sideline, waiting for someone to come back to the ball. But unfortunately, incomplete pass. Eagles are punting with two minutes left in the game. Here we go. Key moment here. Defense needs to come up big here. As Seattle will start at their eight yard line with two minutes left in the game. A minute 52 to be exact. Yeah, the Eagles could have put the game away right there, and they chose not to. And now they, it's, it's, the game is in the defensive hands. It's just not great. Not, not looking forward to this last drive by the Seahawks. Metcalf in double coverage is, you know, why, why can't A.J. Brown? Where's A.J. Brown? Where is he? Metcalf is showing up. The Eagles just let Drew Locke beat them. This game's over. I warned you guys earlier. This kick, Locke has heart. He might not have the stats behind him, but this boy has heart. He has led a drive down the field. One play, a third down play to DK Metcalf that got them into field goal range. And now they score a touchdown to take the lead. 20. 20 to 17. As Smith Najigba, whatever the hell his name is, catches a nice pass from Drew Locke. Cause who he beat? Bradbury. Yeah. That's a that's an interception. This game is over. Eagles lost twenty to seventeen. This is over. Done. Lost three games in a row. They're done. You know, instead of making the smart call and just driving the ball to the spot to get in field goal range with enough time to think about taking at least one shot to the end zone. No, you want to waste the whole call on taking a deep shot to the end zone on AJ in double coverage. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Jalen Hurts throws an interception. Game over. Oh, no. We suck again. This game was the defining moment of the Eagles' season. I have lost total confidence in Jalen Hurts. I have lost total confidence in Nick Sirianni. I had zero confidence in Brian Johnson. This was the game where Jalen Hurts was going to make a name for himself. Pat, you know, what's his name? Uh, Matt Patricia was going to be the savior of the defense. And Jalen Hurts, even though he was sick, he made wrong choices. Yes, you're sick, and you made wrong choices. This season is going down the tubes. You've lost three games in a row. What's going to happen next week against the Giants on Christmas Day? What's that going to be like? My confidence level, my confidence level in this team is zero. They have not adjusted at all during any point 
of this last game and if if with the season i don't, i don't know where this team is going to go it's going to make the playoffs yes we don't want to just make the playoffs we want to get to the super bowl and i don't see this team uh being a super bowl caliber team at all you know well, matt patricia was supposed to be the game changer you know stop the stop the seahawks from scoring they let drew lock 90 yards with one timeout score to win the game drew lock <sighs> this team what a letdown i feel like i've been fooled all year another game another loss and uh disappointment i'm sure not just me i'm sure it's you know philadelphia as a whole this team has just slowly slowly eroded our energy and our emotions and compassion for the sport for the game for the team um the defense has moments but between the linebackers uh who are definitely a step down from last year to the secondary that is a massive step down from last year. It, it's just not the same team. And uh, between play calling and personnel, it, we've reached a point where we're proving that we are just not the team we were. And that's going to be a tough pill to swallow. We'll talk about it more during the podcast. No matter what, though, flag will fly.